everyone. Over the next couple of days we're going to be AIing one of our sows, so we thought we'd make a wee video and just record what we do, how we do it, and it might be of interest to anybody who plans to do the same. We get our semen from Deer Park in Northern Ireland, and this is how the box will arrive, by special delivery. Order it before 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll be with you the next day. So far they've been brilliant, we've had nothing going astray. The only thing is make sure you're in to sign for it. So he's chasing the postie about everywhere. So in the box you'll get three bottles of semen. The details of the bore are on there. You might need to keep these records if you go on to register any of the offspring. The semen itself is suspended in some form of liquid and preservative. So the idea is to keep it warm and you do need to mix it, but don't sugar it too much. It's just a gentle turn every now and then, so it slowly mixes in. The semen is supposed to last for up to five days, uh, but we always try and use it as soon as we receive it. Okay, so let's go outside and we'll meet the actors, Prue and Xander, and see what they're up to. Okay. This blue one is the one that comes with the semen from Deer Park, effectively mimicking a Nabor's penis with this sort of threaded end you push in anti-clockwise and it'll stop about two or three inches out. Or the sponge type. Uh, we've had success with both so I'm not sure there's any benefits between the two other than the yellow one looks a bit more comfortable for the side. So, fingers crossed. See what happens. Okay. We've got the sow stable, and the secret is to be inserting this up the way, sort of heading for the sky. If you get it too far down, what happens is it can enter the bladder. Obviously, you want to avoid that. Good girl, good girl, Prissy. Just nice and slowly. We've already put uh, blue. Lube on it. Good girl. Okay. Then that should lock into the cervix. And then you hold that up and put the bottle in. Okay, this will be one of three bottles you'll get from Deer Park. And it's simply a case of opening it up at the top, sticking it in, and hopefully letting nature do the rest. There's two schools of thought about whether you should squeeze it in or just let the sow suck it out. But uh, you will get a vacuum occasionally, and just we find it's just a case of taking the bottle off, putting some air in, and putting it back on. And as you can see, Xander's looking quite keen. He's getting some grunts going, and it's apparent that apparently the. Uh, the grunting and the smell of the boar encourages the sow. So keep grunting, Zan, you're doing a good job. Pause. So let me just tie that off. I hope we will stay in position. With the, the deer park catheter. They have the cap on here at the end, so you wouldn't have to faff about with the uh, electrical tie. And you could just leave that on the side for maybe 20 minutes and just to give her time to absorb all that's in there. Minutes later, we've removed the catheter. Um, so that was a 100ml bottle. We gave to her there. I assume the spillage would have got 70 to 80 mil in her. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to run out of daylight to do it again today, so try another 100 mil bottle first thing in the morning. Another one last thing tomorrow, and hopefully that will do the trick. Xander's run away for a cigarette and a light, I mean, he's been a busy boy. <laughs> 